Welcome everybody to another YouTube video of mine. Um, if you watched like two videos back, two or three videos back, I'm not sure. Um, I had purchased some Adidas Copa Mundial's from eBay, and it turns out they were fake. Okay, f I guess fake isn't the word. They're replicas, very terrible replicas. Um, I wish I could have done a playtest with them or something, just just because um, it would have been fun to see how they feel, but. Let me tell you, the quality was terrible. Don't, don't buy replicas um, if you know they are. Obviously, I didn't know, but some things are too good to be true. All right, so now fast forward to after I got those in the mail a few days, I went to the Adidas store um, at a factory store, and I walked in and I saw a sign for some Copa Mundiales that were. Um, they were basically 150 and then it said 50% off. Now, I'm no math whiz, but I think $75 for a couple of mundial is, is pretty good. It's really good. Um, so I got them. I went up to the register and it turns out they were even cheaper. They were down to $52. I don't know why I paid $53 for them, um, but I don't care. I'm happy. Uh, I was going to pay the 75 because I think that's just a good... Uh, price point for the Copa Mundial, which now they started off at $100 there if I remember a long time ago and then they came then they're like 110 and then they're 120 and I think right now they do run the 150 and like off dick sporting goods I think you can get them with a the discount if you get like a coupon or something but th that's pretty a high price point if you're asking me for a, a boot that is a more traditional more like you get it because you like the retro feel of it but it's not necessarily a modern thing so the the price increase to me um doesn't necessarily add up i guess you could say um i don't understand why uh some people have also said the quality just isn't the same as what it used to be unfortunately i don't know that because i didn't um wear anything that isn't newer uh the newer version um, but I did remember this, so I went and picked them up, and this is a little bit different box from what my first ones that I purchased from Dick Sporting Goods. Um, so that's I don't know. I, I don't. I still don't understand why they were there. Um, I should have bought two pair, but I didn't see another nine and a half. But so, anyways, so I bought these with the intention of um, just having my friend uh, black out the three stripes and then the white part in the back, and so I was gonna have him do it. But obviously, you can't really count on people. Um, and I should know that so uh, I went ahead and looked up online leather paint and I didn't get Angelus which I know is what everybody uses uh, if you want to black out or just paint your shoes which hopefully I don't regret that but I bought a different kind a different um, leather paint and what I went ahead and did was just made my own limited edition Copa Mundial's in the black with the gold colorway that I purchased but were fake and I got these and just did my own customization because you know I'm the type of person that when I want something I don't stop until I get it and I'm obsessed with it and I'll be looking online and I'm very terrible at that I really need to change that um, but anyway so what I did was just went ahead and made my own customization pair um, they're not perfect because I didn't have all the right tools I just basically got the leather paint um, some brushes and then just honestly a gold uh, metallic gold sharpie and it wasn't thin enough of a point so like I said it doesn't look great on like where it says I'll show you guys but where it says Copa Mundial it's not like exact over it but you know I don't really care to me no one's gonna look at them that close and, and think anything of it and then the only other thing would be is if you know the paint wears off right away or chips off or whatever because i don't know if it's going to stay i haven't had a chance to um play in them um i was going to today but my game got rained out so here i am making this video um but other than that uh, i'm hoping that they at least you know stay good for a couple games and then i can just touch them up since i have like a lot of paint like i i did i did this this shoe i blacked out this completely um i did like two other pairs where i just used a little bit and i still have you know a lot of paint left over from like a little i don't know if it's a four ounce two ounce bottle i don't know but it's really it's it, it's really good paint and it was only it only cost me like four dollars five dollars and then i got a discount a coupon so the paint is pretty good i just hope that it lasts 
um, at least a couple wears before it starts coming off. So with that being said though, let me show you guys my customization. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it was fun. I like black and out boots. So what I was thinking of, if I can get better at it, practice and practice and practice, you know, maybe um, buy, if I find other pairs or something like that, where I can black them out and then sell them for like, not much gain because honestly, it's not that hard. I just want to make sure that my work, you know, is backed up. Obviously, if I made the same pair to sell, I would never um, say that they are the original release back in 2014 or whatever, but this is just a customization, you know, because sometimes you want to shoot, you don't want to pay resale or you lucked out and you can't find your, your, your size. So what better way than just making it yourself? And, you know, I'm about that of just, you know, if I can't have it, I'm going to try to figure out my way best that I can to to get what I want. So with that being said, here are the cleats. Let's take them out of the box. Oh, so remember on my, the fake video, <laughs> the tag that came with them had the Copop part, I guess, um, punched out. But this is what it's supposed to look like. You see right there, it says Copa Mundial and there's no hole, there's nothing. This is a real tag. This is a real shoe, pair of shoes from Adidas. Rece I have receipt and all. Um, and then here's a shoe. I just have it laced up like this to kind of start working the tongue. But if you can see right there, it's blacked out. Bottom blacked out as well. Um, and then gold right there. Now the part that I'm talking about that was a little bit difficult for me to do and I may just, I don't know, try to go over it again. It was right here. It doesn't look that great. Sorry, the camera's, I don't think there's enough lighting to pick up. Okay, so right there. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look like the part that was on top of it. And then, like I said, I'm not that good. So um, this pair I did a little bit better with the gold on the back of the Adidas. And then this one I had a little bit trouble, but like I said, I can just paint over that again and then go ahead and see the eye part. And I can go ahead and just um, redo redo the gold if I need to but but this is the shoe so I even blacked out the tongue with the same leather paint so um, and I and like I said it's not the best it's not perfect I'm gonna have to probably do a few other coats now that I'm looking at it I don't know if the paint is coming off or rubbing off um, but it'll be interesting to see when I when I actually play in them and see how they hold up um, but like I said, I don't know if there's a market for that, if I can do customizations, if this paint is okay, if it holds up on the leather and all that. Um, let me know what you guys think if I could, you know, like I said, I would just, if I could find cheap pairs. I also want to do a white, all white pair with the gold. Um, I think that would be neat to do. And then I kind of got both uh, sets that were released, but that's only if I can find, you know, come up across another um pair like that um because that was a huge steal if you tell me or 50 uh three dollars that i paid so and i wasn't even expecting that so to me um i like it i don't think it's that bad when you look at it from far away you can't tell that this isn't um that this isn't the original one uh so uh if you look up close then you're gonna notice but that's okay so i want to keep blacking out boots um and i don't know Hopefully I become better at it, you know, as I learn more about that, because um, I feel like I could always uh, better myself. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that, and you know, maybe you'll see them on eBay or Amazon, or, or what do you guys think? Is should I even? Sh is it a waste of time to try to do, or should I go ahead and try? Is there a market for people who want blackout boots? Because you know, it's really hard to find nowadays. You know, a leather blacked out boot. So. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Also, let me know if you want me to do um, a review of after using them. Because, like I said, I guess I won't try to sell anything if they don't, if the paint doesn't hold up. Um, but right now, it doesn't look like it's coming off anywhere on my hand when I rub it. So, I'm hoping that I don't have to do too much touch up. You know, after a, a game or something like that. So that's my video for today. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.